Aquaman. Welcome to the show. Right, so uh, yeah, we're going to be going over some because it's better than none. And the first game that we are planning to have a look at is Budum. That's right, it is Outriders. So this is the new title IP from Square. And I have all sorts of thoughts and speculations on this. But let's have a look at the full cinematic trailer and then we'll put it on our big fancy tier list and uh, see what we think. Instead, we live in fear. The anomaly storms have forced us underground. There's one ugly dog. Running from a planet that considers yeah. us prey. Yeah. That, did you see that spider? Yeah, oh, don't do spiders. No, no spiders. I still haven't, like, actually played the, the, uh... In game. Like, mag okay. the magical power part. I got woke up by a spider in my bed this morning. Yeah. No. Nope. No. Nope. Ooh, I didn't I see would, these. No. Fuck are those? That is what happens when you put too much miracle grow on a sweet potato. I'm just saying. That is see, amazing. I was thinking that somebody planted, like, their copy of Silent Hill with Pyramid Head in the backyard. Yeah, Mankind that's very true. I like there's lots we, of biomes. We push and uh we don't hide. Oh, lightsaber. We don't run. No, Halo. We are outriders. Got a great track, do you know what I think? Yeah, it's I mean we've mentioned before that like good music can make or break a trailer. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, there you have it. Very purple Outriders. That is coming out on April Fool's Day. Let's hope it isn't a joke. Um, <laughs> aha, ho, ho. Outriders. So let's go to our magical tier list here. Outriders. So we've looked at just about every single trailer for this you've had the chance to actually play it i watched the full spec of like the breakdown of all the classes and what you do how do we feel about this game how like so so is it before game we... or trailer so this i think we should base this on the best we should do it from the, like compared to its competitors so i think these will probably shuffle around a bit um yeah. so in terms of like what Square has to offer, how excited we are about it personally as well. Um, and, you know, I think we can uh, take a little bit of what the trailer has to offer into that. So, Okay, so the, the, the bits and pieces that I played, I did enjoy um, looking forward to past the point that I played because I got my magical powers. I chose to be uh, a pyromancer, and that's exactly where I stopped was I chose my power, I stopped playing. Um, the 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 background story which is where you start was really really entertaining and really good the fact that past that point they encourage you to just completely ignore the chest high walls because you regain health by being on the attack um and the chest high wall mechanic in this sucks i hate it but like most of the other stuff i loved so um and also i would like to point out that the the androgynous character possibly female with the short white hair every single time i see them in the trailer it gets me a little bit more excited they are just androgynous enough to be attractive to literally everybody and i kind of love them but going for that last of us 2 kind of vibe a little bit a little bit um but, but i would i would rank this uh when you compare it against the rest of the looty shooty world um really because of perspective and stuff, the big one that this is competing against is is probably Destiny, kind of, sort of. I mean, at least scale. They're trying to compete with Destiny, so I would give it an A by that comparison. Not an S tier. S tier, I think, could stand head and shoulders above Destiny. But from what I've seen so far, this is about bar even with Destiny. Okay, so, yeah, I mean... So analyzing this from a point of what Square are offering this year and looking at it a little bit outside of the scope you say, looking at comparing it to its competitors in the market, I have a lot of, uh, I'm really excited about this. I think that it's been a long time coming that there's another 
good uh, looter shooter to come into the market. And that's not to say that there haven't been competitors to it. Um, there was the one from the team that did Borderlands, wasn't there? So uh, long ago, wasn't there? It was it. What was the one they did recently? It was like all the gods and the big shiny armor, and it was a bit content hollow in the end. Uh, not gods will fall. Godfall. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Godfall. So there have been attempts at this, and this, I believe, that was three player as well. But I just don't think they've really kind of lived up to what people want out of this. Um, so I'm in agreement with you. I think this is an A class game. Um, I may shuffle. That may go up because of other bits and pieces that come out. But in terms of what they had to offer, because there was one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Uh, five, ten. Yeah, it was thirteen games in total that they did. Um, so, yeah, this is a big one. This and this is potentially got a huge player base that can come along with this. And if they do actually have a deliverable like system of content updates and loot and bits and pieces, then I think it would do really well for itself. So, if, hmm? oh, all I was going to add to that is if the. Uh... If your demo progress filters into the full release game, I'm actually going to be really, really pissed that I didn't continue playing the demo. Um, I really hope that it doesn't and everybody starts on a, a level playing field, especially since I don't plan on actually purchasing this on Steam. I plan on, on going the freebie route because it's going to be on Xbox uh, Game Pass. So, Okay. Well, I don't think it will. Uh, historically, I think demos remain demos. I think we'll see, and there's also going to be day one patches and bits and pieces. Sometimes. So, so, like, Loop Hero kept my original save from the demo. Oh, okay. But that's not, as you said, that's not always true. And seeing as how this is a looty shooty bit, um, it's, it's actually more likely that they're going to, like, mega wipe your beta progress to try and encourage you to pay for like XP boosters or whatever to get back to where you were. Yeah. I can see that being a thing. I mean, well, I, I think there probably is going to be some sort of payment model somewhere down the line, but we'll have to wait and see. This is coming out April 1st. So that sits at A, and that is Outriders. So um, let's have a look at the next one. Um, Okay, well, let's skip the trailer for this one. But this is Tomb Raider's Definitive Survivor Trilogy. So they've bundled all three of them up together and they are reselling them. I'm just not excited about this in any fashion whatsoever. Um, it's, I, this just stinks of cash grab for me. I get all about recycling your content and making it, you know, bringing it to your audience, etc. But I... I've done Tomb Raider umpteen amounts of times, and it's like, who cares at this point? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I own at least two, if not all three of the games, and I've never paid for one of them. Um, I just watched the the uh, the trailer on one and a half speed to see, you know, is there anything special aside from graphical upgrade for this? Um, all of the DLC, which is over 12 hours of DLC, and oh my god, the shit ton of costumes that they threw at you. Um, is that something that interests or excites me? Uh, no, because like I said, I'm pretty sure I own at least two, if not all three of these games, and haven't played a single fucking one. So, what's to excite me about it? Yeah, I mean, Tomb Raider, I feel like I still have it in my memory pretty fresh. Um, and I feel like it wasn't that long ago. I get the whole, like, you know, the three together, they follow a story. It's nice to have the trilogy. You can Everyone who doesn't have it can get it on the cheap, and that's great. But for me, like, in terms of, like, an offering, like, maybe maybe it's the, the inner me go hungry for new content, but... I'm just over, I'm just over this like remake culture, the remake culture, respitting out culture. You know, well, we've just improved the engine on this. I guess sometimes it's like necessary, and when you get titles that are 
a little you know they look awful and they you know when you put some a look of paint on them for example you look at resident evil series then it's a completely different experience than what it was to the original and all fair play but this this isn't a case like this no this is this is a graphical because and i could be wrong on this but i'm 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 like 90 percent sure uh with the exception of the first of the remakes or the reimaginings of of tomb raider yeah um but then rise and shadow both of those were this most recent generation of consoles yeah so like the the first of the reimagining was the only one that's on the ps3 that generation and all the rest were ps4 and there was a graphical upgrade for uh uh the that tomb raider so all of these were on the last generation it's just a graphical upgrade to bring them to the current generation it's just lumping everything together they did the same shit with the uncharted thing uh with uncharted for for uh naughty dog fans will appreciate folk like us the kind of sort of uninitiated eh, can't be bothered yeah. I I put this at a for that for the fans and the fans alone I put this at a C and not a D. I mean, it's good for good for them. Everything all in one place. It just gets a big fat D for me. So, uh, well, well, we will we will agree to D. Then. All right, okay, we'll agree to D. There we go. You can have a little. You can have the nudge factor on the next one. There we go. Um, all right, there we go. So Tomb Raider sits at a D. Outriders thing at A. So let's have a look at our next one. So this year on the from Square, they have um, outlined pretty clearly that they are well, part of their strategy going forward is the mobile space because they didn't have just one game going. They had four games going into uh, the mobile they, infrastructure. So they had a dedicated mobile games segment. Yes, absolutely. The, uh, I believe they're in. Um, Vancouver, I believe, is where their studio sits at. But let's have a look at the first one. This is a huge title. I, yeah, I have thoughts and feelings on this, but yeah, this is um, this is Jessica's mobile. It's not mobile play. It's not not game actual play. gameplay. Which is disappointing because yeah. I'm about to get a new phone. This could be interesting. Yeah, I don't know how to take it, like... Hmm. The focus on team multiplayer is I get that. Character customization. Is this gonna be like... Like... Facebook game style shit? I, I mean, this is the vibe I get from it. Like, lots of action. Like, I've learned for, like... Mobile games are the worst for telling you that there's this is how it's going to be one way, when it's quite in fact not at all like that. No, it, it turns into this like pay to wait bullshit. Yeah. But we will have to, I mean, wait and see. Like, there's a lot of recognizable elements of just cause and stuff. I just mostly explosions like yeah. just cause like they might as well have the main character is explosions <laughs> yeah is a flaming ball um all right mississippi cap take it away um so i want to be excited about this because like i said i'm literally about to go get like the newest android phone um and i'm super excited about that because I was looking over all the specs and I might actually do some mobile gaming on it because it has one of the best gaming processors in it. I'm getting the, the S21 Ultra um, name drop. Bloop. This would be cool if it looked like that. It's probably going to look closer to Clash of Clans. And that makes me wretch. <sighs> I, I want to believe otherwise, but unfortunately, uh, being bitten by the snake a few too many times in this one, 
Clash of Clans, I think there is they are the company who made that title that basically it's always on my Twitter feed and there's like this you know, he's a guy, he's on his own shooting, then he spawns up all these great big walls and laser turrets and I was like, Oh my god, this looks amazing and I download it and it is absolutely it's nothing like it at all. It is not no. even remote it's like why, why? And then it's like, Oh, we want to give people the sense of excitement, imagination that they will have in their games like I don't want my imagination. I want it's, my phone to produce that. Yeah, it like they could. Squenix is big. They could one hundred percent do like PUBG Mobile. Maybe them. Which are. I I I had a buddy in Korea uh, who I watched him play PUBG Mobile and was shocked at how good it actually looked on mobile. Yeah. So maybe maybe my initial assumption of like this looks this cool but it's going to end up being clash of clan style maybe that's wrong and it's going to be PUBG mobile but could be i i, I am tempering expectations yeah so th looking at the trailer right it was you versus enemies i didn't get the sense that it was you know just cause guy versus another just cause guy flying around competing against each other so there's that real kind of like AI element to it. I I just don't know what to expect. Just Cause for well, me is about ridiculous explosions, setting up bizarre things like putting rocket boosters on the back of cows and just driving around and doing the most crazy stunts. It's everything that I've seen about Just Cause is if you were to take Rube Goldberg <laughs> and combine him with uh oh god, what what what's that one director? Um, with the explosions, like all the time, did the oh, Transformers um, movies? Yeah, oh, bollocks! Hang on, let me Google it for you. Uh, God, it's on the tip of my tongue too. Michael Bay, huh? Michael Bay. Michael Bay. Yeah, it. So, just cause everything that I've seen for it is Rube Goldberg plus Michael Bay. Yeah, in a video game on some like on some like weird tropical island, no one's ever heard of. The, the, um, the magic of Michael Bay, right, is that he's the only director I can recognize by the explosions and not the necessarily the acting style. It's just like, it's just like oh, it's definitely like my hair. I am Bloom Bay. Yeah. Um, but, and like the fact that you had all like all of these other people just cause characters lined up to go beat the shit out of what was obviously the, the corporate villain. Um, as opposed to fighting each other, lends more credence to like a group style Clash of Clans thing as opposed to uh, a PUBG kind of thing. Yeah. So concerns. So, okay. Maybe so, you're, maybe it's Farmville, but you're farming explosions. Farmville. Yeah. Uh, Dom has sent you a request for seven tons of TNT. It'll, like, open your mystery explosion package from Dom. Um, all right, are we taking the optimist route or are we taking the pessimist route? I'm I'm tempering my expectations. Okay. Um, in terms of in uh, terms of comparison, all right, and also comparing it to what else Sony have in terms of their showcase. Squenix has. Um, so so oh, yes. far, I would actually rank this. It, it's it's a really good looking trailer. Um, but it gets lost points for being mobile and even more lost points for starting the fucking trailer with in tiny words across the bottom, which you caught. And I'm super glad you did not actual gameplay footage. So I'm going to put it at a C. OK, that's fair enough. These, of course, there is always room for these to move around because we are judging these against the, the fellow competitor releases. But there we go. Just cause we're going to put you at a C to start with. So let's just cause mobile. All right. Okay. Let's have we a have, look. We, we, we haven't lost. We haven't lost Linz, have have we? You're still here, right? Linz, Linz is Linz is lurking Linz, away. Linz, Linz hanging out. La, 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 Linz. Linz. Linz, we, la, Linz. Um. Yeah. You can weigh in too. That was that was my whole reason. Oh, calling. Okay. calling out the lurkers like a dickhead. Wow. God. Jesus. What a Does what a streaming shit. anti pattern. All right, let's have a look oh. at the next one. Um, we'll have a quick listen. I'll show one. This is Hitman Sniper Assassins, another another Hitman game. 
Um, and another fucking mobile title. Yes, this is a teaser. So here we go. This is Hitman Assassins. What it's all about? Sniper Assassins, of course. Okay, Montreal presents. Not Vancouver. Yeah. Oh, the number was different, so. Getting a sniper rifle. Mm -hmm. Sniper v sniper combat. Maybe. All right. Right. Okay. I have thoughts. I want you to go first, though. Okay. So what I think this is, and I, I, I could have done more research into this, right? But I'm just going to go off what I see at the present. Right? I think this is like Pokemon Go, but with assassins. That is what I'm thinking it is. I think it's going to be like you've got to go out and with your phone <laughs> and snipe someone. I think that's what it is. Hitman Sniper Assassins. I hate you for putting that idea in my head. But makes sense. <sighs> I mean, it's, you can see it, right? Yeah, but I really hate you for putting that idea in my head because what I was thinking mm -hmm. is, um, so they already did a mobile Hitman game. Yeah. How did it work? Hitman Go. Oh, Hitman, Hitman Go. Was not Pokemon Go at all. It was this isometric view, and you had to like basically set things up within the map to kill your target without like you had a set amount of time before they did whatever it was they were going to do, and you had a slew of things that you could do to kill them but only a set number of those things would actually allow you to also get away. And it was a set and forget, like you set these things up on the puzzle, hit play and hope for the best. Yeah. And it was really, really cool. It was, a, it was, I bringing up Rube Goldberg again, it was a very Rube Goldbergian except, you know, with murder. Um, so I loved that. I never, I, I, I have it. I played a little bit of it. I never really finished it, Yeah. but I loved it. Um, and so like that would be cool, but that's not what this looks like. It's going to be, this is, this looks like it's going to be that, but with a multiplayer aspect of some kind. Okay. All right. So we've got two. The only reason I say this is going to be like Hitman. It's why I Pokemon think it's, Go. It's because these guys are the team who did Hitman Go and Lara Croft Go. Well, Laura Croft Go was kind of. Ugh. So, uh, I think it will be some outside kind of like do stuff. Because, I don't know. Hitman on my phone. I just. I don't think it's not quite the same experience. But maybe that's me speaking from a PC consumer base rather than a mobile base. Yeah, I mean, it's. So, like, Hitman. Go was one thing, but Hitman Sniper, which this is the team, uh, they did Hitman Sniper, which is actually very, very different. Um, and I wish that I would have realized that because now I'm looking at it and going, oh, fuck, because Hitman Go was that like it was all grayscale and it was uh, uh almost stick figurines like uh, okay. it looked it looked effectively closer to super hot than it did to Hitman. Oh, okay. That's a bit odd. But hmm. Hitman Sniper looks effectively closer to, well, Hitman with a sniper rifle. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I'd rather Hitman go than Hitman Sniper, but... Oof. Anything mobile has me concerned 100% of the time. Um, I think in terms of like, I say, comparing it to their, their release base, this is going to sit at C for me as well. Uh, and I think there's a little bit of personal bias in there because the mobile market isn't my space. I'm still, I'm, I'm open-minded to it. I'm looking for a game that is outside of a tower defense that appeals to me, but I'm yet to find it. Um, and... I also 
like my personal feelings about mobile games is that there's always that very clear objective that they're to get money from you and not necessarily about you enjoying the title which doesn't sit well for me from an ethical standpoint so which i understand companies have to make money but i just feel like the love of the game is too is too heavily tied in with that um yep. but for that reason uh i mean just just in terms of like i think what square has produced over the years um my love of the hitman series like the latest hitman that came out was absolutely phenomenal um, and watching the speed runs of that have been absolutely amazing. But yeah, this is a C for me. So I will uh, I will argue that there are games within the mobile space that aren't just money grubbing douchiness. However, those are usually made by a team of very dedicated individuals that are behind an indie title. Prime example in this is Monument Valley, um, which now has at least two games under their belt, uh, along with several DLCs for the first game. And if you haven't played it, I highly, highly recommend it. It's probably one of the most enjoyable uh, puzzle-based mobile games I've ever played. 100% worth the money. And it's like five bucks. And that's literally it. Ever. They never, at, like, buy the game, you own the game. There is no other bullshit behind it. However... This is Squeenix. Squeenix. And they're getting into a mobile market and um, they're getting into a multiplayer mobile market. So like the Laura Croft Go and the Hitman Go were mobile market, sure. But it was single player mobile market. Multiplayer mobile market. It's going to be loot box to shit. It's, I, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Uh, I'm I'm going to concur with a C. Real truth, I would go with a D. D. Okay. All right. So let's leave it at a C for the moment. And uh, we'll move on to our next one. So, uh, okay. Um, if they turn this into money grabbing, I'm going to be so mad. Let's have a look at this last one. The last one of the mobile provisions. This is Space Invaders. Uh, okay. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look. This is Space Invaders. Don't get to fuck with my nostalgia with this. Yeah. Oh, this is super nostalgia. I remember playing on it. If, oh God, I can still remember playing it. I, I played this on a freaking Texas Instruments compu uh, calculator. Yeah. Graphing calculator. I'm not buying that there are so many people playing Space Invaders and going to Space Invader concerts and Space Invader tattoos, and there's certainly not a NASA Space Invaders project. Uh, where is that? So, um, I don't know about a NASA project, but they've definitely uh, MIT has definitely projected Space Invaders in a game of Space Invaders, uh, against a wall. That's that's just a nifty little graphic that's that's done against a, a space window. Cool. Um, but like a lot of this other shit, like the concerts and stuff, that's just DJs uh, using that in their light show. I have seen graffiti of, of uh, Space Invaders all over the place. I've seen tattoos of Space Invaders. I've seen graphics of Space Invaders on people's uh, shirts and sleeves and stuff. The thing that gets me on this... um. Because they're 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 nostalgia baiting the hell out of this. Um, the fuck is the actual game? So this is uh, uh oh god, was it they call it AR rea alternate reality? Like what's what is it when they put you put um? Hang on. Please. See that's 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 what um. Oh, it's an AR game. Okay, that is exactly what Pokemon Go was. Is still, um. And honestly, I I dug the way that Pokemon Go did it. I also played I've played, I think, all of Niantic's games, come to think of it. So I, I played the uh Pokemon Go. I played the thing that they did before Pokemon Go with Poke um when it was just Niantic that was doing it. I can't even remember the name of it. 
Um, I played, uh, they linked up with Universal and uh, Universal Studios and they did uh, a Harry Potter game, Niantic did. Um, and I played that one for a while. So like, I, I enjoy a mobile AR game. They can be entertaining. They can be fun in their own way. Um, and I am 100% uh, signing up for, for the beta on this. Yeah, uh, I mean, I like Space Invaders and all. Uh, I, I think it's a great, I, I mean, if I just like this, it's just a, like a tech demo concept. Like, okay, I can point my phone up into the sky and I will play some Space Invaders in bits and pieces. I imagine that's how it's going to go. Similar to how, you know, the Minecraft worlds thingy worked oh yeah yeah so i just it's mobile isn't this like it's pulling all right let's forget it's on not a mobile but as you say there's a lot of nostalgia there they saw like really like playing into everyone's heart i think i'm not it's fun okay it did make me smile i thought it was cool it's like it really it did punch me in the kind of feel good kidney. It's I hate them for doing it, but I can't help but like think, oh, that is a cool idea, and like it's so different, and so it you know it's novel and it's not a battle it's not a battle royale with space invaders. So I got that to think. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's the thing that I'm wondering though is how are they going to do space invaders as an AR? It's gonna you point it up in the end, and like you're gonna have like stuff come down or whatever. I don't think it's gonna be Pokemon going, be like, "Hello, uh, by the way, there's um a space invader in your, I don't know, in in your backyard. You need oh, to go kill it." Yeah, you'll 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 be driving to work, and you'll feel your phone in your pocket go, vroom, vroom, vroom. pull it out like the asshole you are while you're driving. Oh, what's this vroom, vroom, vroom about? Oh, there's space invaders in my area. I should go kill them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And this is how we get into accidents. You've got to run down the street and hide under everyone's houses so that you can like shoot you thought the aliens from blowing you up. Um, you got to go dodge in and out between the garage. Yeah. So, all right. There's a there's let's have a look. Let's uh let's assess this situation. Um, in terms of like what we've seen so far and what it is, where do we rate it? So, as I said. Uh, as far as the mobile market goes, the AR games are probably the ones that that I appreciate the most, um, at least in what they what Squenix had to show off. Um, I am actually looking forward to this again, tempering my expectations because we have no idea what this actually is going to look like. Um, and I don't see anything about Niantic being behind them, and they have been behind literally every good AR game in the past eight nine years so i'm putting this at a b also they got my they got me in the feels from like the moment that this freaking thing started so b b all right okay i agree with you on that one okay there we go so our first b this is space invaders augmented reality all right um Let's keep going through the list. Um, oh, God, there is another mobile offering. Two- it's kind of sort of, because it's Switch. Okay. So, kind right. of sort of mobile. Let's let's have a look at Two Who Spell Bubble. Let's have a look at Two Who Spell Bubble. Spell Bubble. Two Who Spell Bubble. There we go. You ever really, really miss Phoenix Ryan? Yeah, Ryan will be all over this. Must be like <laughs> right. Ro- Ryan. I spoke to Ryan today. See how he was. Bless him. Wish him all the speedy recovery with his health. Um, okay, this is the side story pack two. This is gonna be a... all right. Uh, okay, let's give it a go. Yeah. The switch. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Previously on. Um, That's a major tournament. Okay. Demands of her sponsors are taking everyone close to their breaking points. Goodness me. Am I I I drink energy? Nope. I suppose I'll crunch some numbers again. I suppose you're playing her hands. Or something. Usually you're not this spineless. 
that is not the type of game I expected. Oh, it's Pubble Puzzle Puzzle Bubble. Bubble Bubble? Bubble Bubble. It's Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble Bubble Bubble. Is it competitive Bubble Bubble? Yes, it is. It, lo it, it looks like competitive boobles. I used to play this on Teletext. You know, the old Sky games. I don't know what, what. You used to press a button, you could have games, and then you'd sign into it, and you use the remote to control. Oh, you mean kind of like uh, the Sega channel? I like the Sega channel. Yeah. No, no, I, 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 I wasn't meaning that to sound demeaning, because, like, we totally have games on, like, our Roku box. We have Angry Birds on the Roku box, so I can totally get that. Uh, yeah. I, I always really like Bubble Bubble style games. I can understand why people like games like Candy Crush as well. Match those yeah. colors. They're, they're enjoyable. I always... This has a lot going on, though. Like, it's got <laughs> timed button presses, and I don't know, that seemed like a DDR thing going on, scrolling down the side. Do you see that? Yeah, I did. Man. I, that's... Okay. And we're done, I guess. That's, that's a, a lot to go through. Alright, uh, huh. there we have it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know anything about this series apart from the game type it is yep i'm right there with you um i'm i'm still sitting here like i'm clicking backwards through this going okay there's obvious like ddr beats because it's got like dot dots Tiny lines that are obviously non-presses and long lines that are definitely hard presses. So that's a thing. In addition to like an aim and shoot of classic bubble bobble style shit. So All right, this, this there's is... a lot to take apart here. I mean, alright, let's assess it versus what we've seen so far. Is it better than Lara Croft? Yes. Is... Literally anything is. Alright, sorry. Is, is it better than the Tomb Raider trilogy? Yes. Is it better than Just Cause Mobile? No. Not better than Just Cause? Are you, are we sure? Uh, big anime eyes versus splodorations. Is it equal? Is it equal than the Hitman and Just Cause? Mm, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. It is equal to them. I am more excited about this than I am about uh, Lara Croft, but not as excited. Pull up the list because I can't see it. Oh, here we go. There's, oh, there we go. There's the list. Uh, I'm definitely more excited about this than I am Lara Croft. However, I'm not as excited about. I will. I am more likely to play Space Invaders AR than I am to play this. I'm more likely to play this than I am Just Cause and Hitman. That game, I'm more likely to install something like that than I would a Hitman AR game or a Just Cause mobile game. This is on uh, Switch, not not like truly oh, okay. truly mobile. So, and I think it's a it's a story pack. So you need to get the full game first. This is a DLC pack. <sighs> All right. Well, personally. And you, you can shunt it up or down. This gets a C from me. I will concur. All right. Okay, there we have it. So uh, that is Two Who Spell Bubble. Uh, there we go. Here we go. Two Who. You can sit right there. I'm, I'm looking at what's coming up next on the list. Oh, my God. Right. Marvel <laughs> Avengers, the next gen upgrade. Oh dear. All right, okay. I mean, let's go in with an open mind, everyone, and see what uh -huh. this is all about. All right. Um, next gen launch trailer. This is Avengers coming out for the PS5. Yep, and maybe some other things too, but anything that doesn't have Spider Man is therefore less of a game. <laughs> there we go. Well, unfortunately, it goes up against Spider Man. Finally arrived. Oh. Bruce? It's only God. the maestro. Whoa. 
Thrall really let himself go. What never happened to what? What happened to Ogremar? Oh man, so 60 FPS at 4K, Captain America in great. Better textures, yeah. more destruction. There we go. This looks exciting. This looks fun. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, what a great game. Uh, are are no they going to? All right, there we go. So a free upgrade and we get the hint well now we know that hawkeye is in the provision as well hawkeye so so uh are we can talk about avengers again or <laughs> or should we talk Do about the fact that a free upgrade in the, the free upgrade is, is 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 a nicety it's probably the only nicety that they've done because apparently they also believe that uh Leveling up is too confusing, and therefore they need to stretch it out more. I'm not even joking. That was a fucking thing that was said prior to this conference. So, I just... This is a sunk cost fallacy, this game. And I think that... Can <laughs> we lump this one and the next one together and just talk about them all together? All right, okay. Or That's... do you want to do them as two separate things? I'm asking. Uh, we'll do them two separate things because I think they. Okay. Have... Okay. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Gazuntite. Excuse me. Ginger beer up your nose makes you sneeze. I've learned this the hard way today and still haven't learned my lesson. Uh, oh. Next gen upgrade. It was a thing that was promised. It's good that they're following through. And this is just defining what that next grade, next gen upgrade looks like. So. Yeah. All right. Okay, all right, so let's a uh, comparative analysis of what we've got going. Is it <laughs> it's a next gen upgrade of Avengers better than Tomb Raider? Everything's better than Tomb Raider. Everything is better than Tomb Raider. Okay, is it better than three mobile games? Yes. Because this is going off the assumption that you've already sunk time and money into the Avengers game, so... Yes, this is better than a mobile game. Okay, so it is better than a mobile game. Is it better than Space Invaders, though? No. Not better than Space Invaders. Okay. Because nope. so... the Avengers fight off the Space Invaders. <laughs> they just kind of do a... They didn't do a 4K job of it until now. Yeah. Now, now they will. And also, oh yeah, free to it's all... Shit joke. Free to all Avengers owners... I really just want I I've got to look at this objectively and see like this in terms of the actual what they're offering rather than talking about how Avengers how it is an atrociously hideous game a low budget like how could they make such a bad game for such a ginormous series like it's Avengers there's so much what? money into it how what can did they you make do to my poor baby how can they make such a beautiful Spider-Man game and such a garbage Avengers game? This, this game? Somebody might want to clip the thing that I'm about to say because it is most, both the most offensive and honest thing I think I have ever said. I am glad Stan Lee did not live to see this shit. Wow. I wish he would have been around to say no. I'm, yeah. Well, there we have it. Unfortunately. Yeah, okay. <sighs> All right. So it's not better than Space Invaders. You think it is better than mobile games. So I'll yeah. put it even to the mobile games. All right. I'm with you on this. So a C. There we go. There we have it. It's a hard C. Because <sighs> then, oh, is, is the next. Oh. <laughs> That's, I, I, I noticed that you have two separate icons and that's why you wanted to do them separately okay yeah here we go all right so this is our next part of the marvel avengers this is the black panther trailer marvel 
Dr. Rappuccini. Hmm? I read your proposal. Yeah. I must admit, I'm oh. disappointed. You have the men. You have the tech. We're all disappointed. All you need now is me. Full yes. scale invasion. So okay. You get me the army. I'll get you the vibranium. Okay, so. Sincerely, Claw. Oh, Claw. Okay, so they're looking to steal the vibranium for Black Panther, and Black Panther is being added in. Yep, yep. <sighs> okay, alright, so I'm not going to speak about Marvel Avengers being garbage, and I'm not seeing the character. I can say that I think this is cool. Black Panther is a cool character. I yep. liked the movies. I, for what little I've read of the comics, I enjoyed them. I like the concept of him. I think he could be really fun if done really well. I think this is certainly more exciting than Tomb Raider. Certainly more exciting than Just Cause. And going into 4K with a cool new character, I can get behind that. I, I can get behind a lot of this. Um... If the War for Wakanda expansion has direction to it and isn't and doesn't just regurgitate the same complaints that I've seen about the primary Avengers game, um, if, if it has a point, if it's streamlined in the way that it, it acts and it's adding both a character and a solid chunk of story and not just a grind fest. I'm all for it. That suit looks bomb. Like, holy shit, that suit looks bomb. Uh, Wakanda itself looks pretty damn cool. Um, I like the fact... Rip Chadwick Boseman, but that fucking voice actor sounds almost better like it's it's more uh what well, you think it sounds more like the black panther you imagine black panther to be yeah it does it it's it's got like more base to it um i'm for it i like this especially if this gives more direction to marvel's avenger as a whole um it might actually be something that makes me want to play marvel's avengers but expectations are slightly tempered okay all right well for me this i i did i like you know put a few tingles in the back of my neck when i first saw this um the others kind of left me feeling a bit emotionally flaccid so this gets a b from me compared to what they've done so far in terms of the list um i'm happy to give this a b and i think it could be a for the series to, or the you know marvel to um maybe shine and make itself a little bit better than it is currently i can agree to a b okay all right there we they go they would they would even get an a if this includes adding spider-man to everybody else aside from playstation Ooh, <laughs> i don't know maybe spider-man will go into it at some point no 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 spider-man it's a sony thing Sony owns Spider-Man, not Marvel. That's right. All right. Uh, let's have a look then at our next title. And this is Scarlet Nexus Kazan. All right. So I don't know. All right. Yes. Yeah, have a look. I don't know anything about this series. Nor do I. This is, this is a new one for me. Um, okay. Let's have a look. See what it's all about. Did you switch? Yeah. Up oh, there we go. I sometimes have Delay. these strange dreams. So, They're about these threads called red strings. It feels strings. very dot hack. And yeah. What was that? It's like, what was the other Don't square game that they did with the vampire, like strings. vampire souls? They will twist oh, uh, and Code Vein. Code Vein. It feels very Code Vein esque. 
okay. little Cobain, Big little Bob Hack. Yeah. Randall, my power is psychokinesis. I'm trying you. to tell if this is turn-based or okay. This is action combat, not yeah. turn-based combat. You can go ahead and enjoy oh, yeah. it however you want. Not quite. I don't believe in fate. A little bit what? Devil May Cry-ish, maybe. Now we're talking. Uh, ready to see how strong I am. I think it's now that I'm here, the tides have turned. styling of Dot Hack as long as we and Cobain. Um, combat similar to uh, uh, Let's do what we can. Near? Near okay. Automata? Grave, can't you just okay. Let me rest? Let's get this what are they done by Square Enix as well? Near? I think so? Man, my invisibility power really saved the day. Okay. I mean, I'm Don't loving the line art, and it looks very pretty. I'm sorry, Yuichi. I'm. There's a lot in this I that I'm enjoying. Like a lot. Of Why are you trying to kill me? objects being thrown around, and I'm not really getting a grasp of what the really story is at the moment. Yuito? Two people and you yep. kill each other at the moment. Yep, that's kind of standard for this kind of thing. Um, honestly, I didn't really understand the storyline behind Nier, and I played it, played through it beginning to end at least three times. So, trailer not telling me everything, I'm okay with that. Okay. And I apologize, my volume's up and down because trailer volume. That's all right. Um, all right, Scarlet Nexus. There we have it. Oh, why'd you have to end with pre-order bonus? There we go. So the pre maybe the pre-order bonus will give it a Bando Namkai. So it is, yeah, from the guy Code Vein. There we oh, go. wait, there's a little bit more. I'm going to try to see what... Think Minds, Unlock the Future. Okay. On mobile. Facebook game. What? I'm I'm a little behind. Oh, please no, please no. Scarlet please Nexus, no. the series? Oh look, anime? There you go. Yeah, anime. Oh, I can get behind anything that is uh, done by. Did Bando Namco? Uh, they Castlevania, didn't they? Huh? Oh. Uh, no. Uh, no. No, that's Capcom. Is it? Uh, Bando. Yeah. Okay, then I'm talking out my ass. However, um, the artwork for that anime looks pretty solid. Yeah, the anime looked absolutely fantastic. I think there's, um, I, th I, I'm really liking, going on a complete side tangent, I'm really liking this recent trend of making games into beautiful anime shows for adults and, or, you know, um, put more in there later stages of uh, teenage life because um, they've, they've been very watchable, very consumable. I love Castlevania. I'm very looking forward to Dota. And uh, this looked kind of cool as well. Yeah, so this this one um, I did not think that I was going to be as interested in this as I am. Uh, this had all the stuff that had me interested about Code Vein with less vampires and less perversion, for being fucking honest. Um, this had a lot of stuff pulled from Dot Hack that looks Dot Hack styled, but isn't like the depth that Dot Hack was in the early 2000s. Um, the the cutscenes look very uh uh near esque. Um I guess also Code Vein esque, but I didn't play Code Vein, so I can't speak to it. Um but I remember saying at the time that we first looked at Code Vein, I was like, this looks like a redder version of Near, so I guess that's fair. Um I love this. Okay. I mean Love it. So, uh, while this appeals to me on a very visual uh, element, I will say I really, the gameplay elements of it, they didn't really blow me away. I didn't get a feel like there wasn't much to be drawn on in terms of, um, like, 
what your abilities and I, like there was a lot of like throwing stuff around but i didn't kind of like get any like it didn't drip feed me any kind of experience of what i would be doing on my journey it's like you know there's, there's this story and stuff and you have some like you can jump in the air and you'll be doing some sort of combo string on your enemy but um so but i mean compared to what they have like sony have not sony square enix have um done for the rest of the showcase i think this is one of their um big more heavy hitting titles i think this they are looking this is a new ip by all things um and uh they've got is a a tv animation going side by side with it so yeah uh God, didn't make me want to run out and buy it but certainly look cool and appealing and um one to watch i think is the term i would use it's a term that you use so often and uh i 100 percent agree i am definitely hooked to this one um i think where we're going to end up setting this on the scale is probably going to be an a uh because i am going to let mine drip down okay uh, so because i would put this s tier especially compared to everything else shown today shown thus far i would put this s tier i mean i would put it in a I t just because the gameplay didn't look mechanically it was like well what is this um, and i'm cool with that i am cool with with uh succumbing down to an a okay all right so there we go equal with outriders putting this at an a i, I think so we'll... put it at an a plus because i think this is better looking than outriders but i think they're different uh, beasts yeah very different very very different okay all right so <sighs> balan wonderland is back once again <laughs> so all right let's have a look balan wonderland this is um something that is not in my uh circle of uh, expertise but thankfully we have someone who is a balan wonderland expert um, so, uh, here we go, Balan Wonderland. Wonder World. Okay, very uh, yeah, Rally in the Chocolate Factory, world. Alice in Wonderland. Origin? Good, pretty FMV, it's very cinematic. Like, I get, feel like I'm watching a movie more than I am a game trailer. The best oh, is this? To save is this day. putting it into two-player? Maybe. Looks like it's two players. It's together. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, that's actually that could definitely improve upon the game. There you have it. Turn into different characters. Yeah, I'll I'll explain the fuck's going on when we get there. Basically, okay. During this song, uh, basically you get costumes that have yeah. abilities. Yeah. But you can only have so many costumes per player. Yeah. So having the ability to basically double how many powers you have available to you. And seeing how those things work together will actually be fairly interesting, I imagine. Balan Wonderworld. Okay. Now I feel like go <laughs> being the outsider here on this and not really having played Balan Wonderland and only hearing the feedback from various people, this felt extremely cinematic. Like the yep. the guy even narrating and you know going, "Oh, this coming." I felt like I w he's the same guy you hear in all the cinema trailers. Um, really kind of coming this summer. Yeah, yeah, it sounded like that guy. Uh, and like I was like, oh, I can. <laughs> it sounded cool. If this was a movie, I'd probably be like, oh yeah, I can take a kid to see this. Um, but I'd know nothing really of the gameplay. Um, so Mississippi. it's 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 very much that uh early two thousands uh uh. 3D mascot kind of game 
Okay. Um, like something that feels it would have felt so right on the Dreamcast. Yeah. Like right alongside uh Nights into Dreams. <laughs> yeah. This would have felt right next to that. Um, this day and age, and I'm a huge proponent for like bringing back the the uh the mascot action adventure game um but this i wanted to really like balan wonderworld i didn't i think my kid would if this would have been released like what before was he was a teenager what, what turned you off so there's there's a good chunk of it that like the graphics are look really really nice um hit boxes are for shit though uh both yours and enemy characters uh the camera's okay given the style of game it is the the restriction to number of costumes really really hamstrings the game um and more than anything while i say fairly regularly again mascot adventure games need to make a return this is stuck too much in the original age of the mascot adventure game mm -hmm. this has it it feels like it hasn't modernized even though it literally came out this year yeah so it's disappointing more than anything i want it to be better than it is it's just it doesn't feel modern all right, so uh, I'll ask the question. Is it better than Tomb Raider? Yeah. Is it better than three mobile games and an Avengers 4K upgrade? Uh, for my son, it would be. Is it better than Space Invaders AR and Black Panther? No. No. Okay. So, I think I think I think both myself and my son could agree that this is not better than Black Panther. Okay, all right, there we have it. That's C. That's Balan Wonderland, and yes, House of the Dead was on the Dreamcast. What a great title! And also, let's not talk forget about the great fantasy star in line, the beginning and end of my life when I picked up that game. What a great game! Great game. Love to go back God. to that. So we were we were talking earlier about dot hack. Um, yeah. So while I had some friends that were playing uh, Fantasy Star Online, yeah. I had more friends that were playing and like losing their social life to dot hack mm -hmm. because like you could play the games in series. Yeah. And your save file transferred. Yeah. 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 I, I had friends who like the beginning of Smurf accounts um outside of a pc game wow they they literally made smurf saves to replay in a different style of dot hack it was batshit pretty cool oh well there we go there we have it all right this um let's have a look this is another big heavy hitter from square enix this is of course life is strange the new one coming out so let's see what it's all about True colors are shining through. They're definitely hiding something. Alex, be careful. Oh, did I? Okay. No, they put the end of the death. <laughs> yeah. The end yeah. at the beginning. There you go. When I moved to Haven Springs. So it's back in Hidden Springs. Or is Hidden Springs a new one? I can't remember. I think that's from the <laughs> second. <laughs> it looks like it's from the second game. Welcome to okay. Haven. This place is pretty sweet. Yeah. I'm glad you two met. Is this dude my best friend? And this mm -hmm. dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> Alex, right? I'm Steph. I didn't realize... Okay, so Steph was in the first one. For the first time in years. Well, what do you think? Voice acting is very it. good. I really let myself... Face know. models the... don't seem Welcome to home. be very human. They, they don't Dang. seem right. What to believe now. <laughs> they <laughs> seem like... Dead. A oh. lot of it seems like it's still from the first game. Okay. This one's for Graphically. You. Mm -hmm. All right. everyone talk about my brother. About the life he had. Like it, it feels very like 
you know, teenage soap opera-ish kind of those. What happened to Gabe? One what Tree Hill. It feels like One Tree Hill the game. It wasn't an accident. Well, all of the, all of them have been kind of like Are you okay? teeny bopper, teeny, teeny bopper drama, no. with You're like a splash of the something. supernatural. Yeah. The choice of Usually in the form of like some here? kind of psychic power. Yeah. Of community. We help each other. Creepy old man did it. Alex, be careful. Creepy old man always did There's it. Something yeah. You should know about me. Oh, here we go. The power of emotion. Power of emotion. I here know we go. what other people are feeling. Empath. I can see these. Everyone's an empath in life. Them. Okay, so the first one did time powers. Angry, the second sad, one did telepath. When I focus, Wasn't it telekinesis? This, I even telekinesis, and this feeling. is doing empathy. Empath. And if somebody's Empath. feeling something big, it infects me, oh. and I lose control. So she is. I've has never told them. Some anyone. sort of uh, telekinesis but powers. Now I can find out what's really going on. And you you're very help. empathetic. I've got your back. Tel telekinetic empathy. Okay. Whoa. Rage. Sadness. Was Joy. Kind of absorbing the powers in the same way that, uh, uh, very pride, like infamous second son. Yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. September 10, pre order now. That is Life is Strange True Colors. Oh, so many thoughts and feelings on this. I know before Sippy gets going on this, I will say. There is going to be a huge number of people who are extremely, extremely excited for this. They, the, the previous series won awards, and rightly so. They were very well written. There's something quite unique in terms of like walking simulators. They are critically acclaimed. I think it's fair to say. Um, no, but I see what I, you I have would to say. I would say uh, they're not really walking sims. They're adventure games in the classical sense of adventure games um they do have a uh, uh, timed occasionally you have the 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 timed like button press or fail kind of things but um as someone who loves your classic pnc adventures which normally are just called adventure games um love it love love the first one to a point um, it was ambiguous with the way that it ended because it went like you had all of these different things that had all of these different effects, but then you got to the ending and it was pure black and white. It was it was a singular option, and I literally was able to loop back to my last save point, change, and the ending was different, and that there were only two endings. Um, I never played the second one, um, and. I have a couple of thoughts on this. First and foremost, uh, I find it funny they're advertising that this is coming out on Stadia like that's still going to exist in September. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's that's the funny. Um, I also find it interesting that they're they're kind of they're definitely embracing uh, uh, kind of the following that life is strange as a series has embraced. Um, Cause yeah. the first one was this whole, it was ambiguous is, is this her best friend? Is this her girlfriend? It was ambiguous as to like, is this part of the LGBTQA spectrum? Um, the second one, there was no ambiguity. This one, there is no ambiguity. It's literally a rainbow and, <laughs> Fuck yeah. So, um, but on the other hand, there's a part of me that's like, are they just milking the title for that because they know that's their audience? Or is this going to continue to be well written as the previous one, previous games were? I can't speak to the second one because I never played it. The first game was well written. Um, I don't know that it was worth all the praise that it got. It was definitely good and it was well written and it played well. Um, it didn't infuriate me as much as some of the more modern adventure games. Um, so I thought the first one was good. Never played the second one. This one looks all right. 
Okay, so I don't think I really need to ask the question, is it, is it better than Tomb Raider or is it better than mobile games? But the question is, is it better than Black Panther and Space Invaders AR? Are we on the same level as Outriders and, of course, um, Scarlet Nexus? I... I think that this for its appropriate audience yes this is on the same level as uh, uh scarlet nexus and outriders okay i agree with you i will say in terms of like what square enix has to offer this is a big hitter again like it's going to come out the gates punching that I've, when I was watching this originally, there was a huge amount of people just screaming, going mad that they like pre-ordered this already, and they're very, very excited. Um, this, it's the same. This has the same sort of feel to it, like when an author produces a really good book, but people are just they're like really clamoring to get hold of the next piece of the story. You know, it's not about the engaging gameplay; it's about the following the journey of a character, and you know, having a. And yeah, you know, get, getting sucked into that emotional world. So, I I actually think that the fact that they are remaining graphically on the same level with all of the Life is Strange games, um, they're 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 not flexing or trying to go too uber realistic. They're keeping it like that, just past cartoony, but not quite real. Um to maintain this level of consistency. And I think that that's great. I, I think that there's a lot right. And this is very aesthetically pleasing, as you said. Um, and I was, I was just like glancing down through the comments. And one of the things that grabbed me is life is strange. Again, you're going to fucking cry. Okay. Oh, there, there. I will say, I will say like empathic powers though. I'm like, uh, like, why can it be like a pyromancer or an, you know, kid gets accused of wrongly asked burning down buildings, and it turns out it was Granny all the time, and she's a vampire. And... You no, know? all right. Well, now, no. well, <laughs> having right. played through the first one and seeing like the the trauma that some of the characters experienced, rich deep character development. I'm good. I don't. I don't want to know what kind of trauma would cause them to be able to set fires with their brains. <laughs> okay. All right. So no pyro granny vampires. But uh, there we have it. This is going to sit at a big fat A. All right. Let's have a look at our next one. Oh, there we go on our tier list. There. So this is how it's all panned out. Uh, we will have a look at. All right, this is just just talk this one through. Life is Strange remastered. So they've taken the first two games, they've bumped up the quality on them, and I think it's like 60 FPS and 4K and all that shiny news, and you can get them all as one bundle. Do how do we feel about this? Is is it the first two yeah, the first games two. or just the first game? Um, all right, oh, hang on. Let's have a quick nose. I'm just going to I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm look I think it's just the first game. Okay, so it's the first game. All right, so the first one being remastered, the, the critically acclaimed one. Um, is this a big deal? Eh, not really. I mean, uh, the first game is the only one that I played. I played it when it came out as its entirety. Um, it was perfectly acceptable at the graphical level that it was. Uh, it's because they have kind of stuck with the same artistic style. Yeah. It doesn't need a graphical upgrade. It's still the same kind of like brushed reality, not quite cartoony looks. So, me. Okay. There you have it. All right. So, for me personally, I cannot rightly give Tomb Raider a D and then say another remaster is better than it. So for me this gets a D. I'm sure there's lots of fans who would disagree with me on this but what are your thoughts? My thoughts are if you disagree with it you already own it at least twice. 
<laughs> I do. I literally own this game three times. I I own it on PlayStation. I own it on PC. I own it on either uh uh either GOG or Epic. I own it on Twitch. I own. I own this game a ton of times. You do too. It doesn't need a remaster. It's okay. Let it go. All right. There we go. There we have it. Uh, so let's have a look at our last title tonight. And this is... This is the one that supposedly <sighs> is going to be our first S tier because this is the one that everyone was shitting their pants about. Yeah, this is the Unspoken. Uh, this Project Spoken. Unknown. Yeah, Forspoken, but it was like known as Project Unknown to start with. So let's have a look. Trailer and see what it's on. That's not the link. This is the link. All right. Give me, give, give me word. I'm going to hit play so Let's we can watch it together. Let's go now. Ooh, you gotta love it when it starts with the drums and the <laughs> and a giant dragon. A giant dragon. I'm Ella Valinska. Today, I am super excited to finally announce that Ella I played the character Frey in Working Title Project Athia, a brand new go. IP from Square Enix and Luminous Productions. I remember we looked at Athia, right? Beautiful yet yeah, this is what work. Athia is. Yeah, we did. Project Unknown Athia. The development so. team has been working CGI looks super, phenomenal, super hard but I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, expect anything else from Luminous Productions. Frey is a character I immediately connected with when this project was first There, there was a time that you could say so that about literally anything. Thing that was under the Squenix umbrella. I mean, they still do make phenomenally While beautiful games. The Final Fantasy, like Final Fantasy 15, is still oh, yeah. phenomenally gorgeous. Absolutely. So, okay. I mean, I still need to complete that game. So please enjoy. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's it's an excellent game. We right, just we literally go. talked oh, over the actors talking about yeah. how awesome. I mean, look at how cool that dragon looks. Obviously, great CGI so far. Bit like you've got a sense of atmosphere. That's cool. Oh. Is it gone? Yes. And we should leave this place as well. What was talking to her just now? A mystery voice. Okay. Project Pathia is. Wait for it. What are waiting? Forspoken. There you go. Forspoken. Okay. I thought they were going to do like the Final Fantasy style. Well, they did kind of have Ooh. that kind of like. Oh, here we go. Got glowy boots. Does she use a mage thing? Kind Ooh. of magic powers. Forspoken. Gorgeous. Okay. I. <laughs> yeah. This is Luminous Productions all, like, just all over. Um, I, I'll throw my two cents into this. Uh, it, like, cinematically, it looked absolutely phenomenal. Um, you got a real sense of atmosphere. The dragons look really, really good. Um, there was lots of detail. The character animation looked great. Um, the little bit of gameplay footage, it, it looks fast. It looks open world. It looks like there's going to be some cool creatures in there. Um, it's like a very kind of dark vibe to it. Landscapes looked amazing. They've obviously, this is, and this was actually later confirmed, but this is a PS5 and PC title. This is not a backport. We're finally seeing the technology that they can use with all of these, um, you know, going forward, which is really, really cool really good this like has a feel of luminous productions to it right now my only my only little like not niggle but uh, uh, observation let's say ever since final fantasy 15 there is a style of like you know where he throws the sword and he kind of like dashes towards them like yes, and do. like you know that kind of like mobile teleportation movement style that it's almost like a Michael Bay equivalent of explosions. You can almost tell it's a Luminous Productions by that kind of like zipping around movement. Um, and that was very, you know, okay. 
very observable. So I will counterpoint that um, as this is less teleportation and it's more like a very attractive merger of that and almost a Spider-Man style parkour. Um, Because with that, it was literally teleportation. This is... uh, uh, it it has a parkour feel to it. It has a very fluid motion to it. And it doesn't have the you're here, blink, you're there, which several games have done, uh, usually from a first person perspective, such as Dishonored um, as a series. And as you mentioned, Final Fantasy 15 from a third person perspective, this just we're all going to move just very quickly, very fluidly very beautifully um but it does have that very like she even leaves a fluid trail yeah behind her and and i don't dislike that i think that that's that if you're going to have some kind of signature within the movement tech of your game that's an okay signature to have um i thought that the the artistic styling was absolutely gorgeous uh what little combat what little movement that we saw um like like i have said and dom has said it was very very beautiful very very fluid very very magical big open exciting um all the words all those all those buzzwords that you want to hit to to excite all of the youtube and twitch reactors like us Ah shit! This is our S tier, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, it, I, it, it super is our S tier. I mean, it uh, in terms of like what they have coming out. I mean, it's a, it's a PS five exclusive, um, like as in it's set for that console. It's, it this is a landmark going forward. This is the Horizon Dawn to the PS four, in my opinion. Yeah, it's and and uh, they're announcing it. Almost as far out as Horizon Zero Dawn was announced by by comparison to the release. Yeah. Um, so they announced Horizon Zero Dawn prior to just prior to the release of the PS4, and it was about a year and a half to two years before its physical release on the console. Um, this we got teasers for it last year. The trailer ended with saying it's not being released until next year in 2022, and that leaves it all the way until December 2022. So it could be up to two years before this game is released. I kind of hope that it's up until two years until this game is released, because maybe then I'll actually have the opportunity to purchase a fucking PS5 to play this shit. Yeah, well, it's year of the backlog, so it definitely isn't coming out this year, and I expect it not to be out at least till 2023. Um, But... They, Truth. Luminous Productions. They have they have documented proof that they can produce beautifully rich open worlds with fantastic story and tons and tons of gameplay for you to chew through. I am just interested to see how much overlap this has with Final Fantasy Fifteen in terms of in terms of like subquests and side quests and points on maps and stuff and running around and vehicles and travel. But we'll have to wait and see. If it, I mean, if it does have overlap with it, I'm not going to complain. Though, but though it was a fantastic game, and I loved it, and you know, I'm all for more cre- recreation of it. Uh, but yeah, I, as Sippy has said, I think this is our S tier. So uh, there we have it. Let's move it up. That is that concludes. So uh, yeah, there we have our, it. Our- our S tier is the newest of the new IP, and our D tier is the we are giving you an old hairball. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tonight. This is first of many tier rankings we are going to do we've got some really cool ones coming up for you in the near future so if you have enjoyed it please do of course click the follow button hit the subscribe button leave us lots of comments we'd love to hear what your thoughts what would you like to see a tier list of in the gaming universes but for now thank you very much for watching this was good fun we'll be back with more news games and reviews in the future before we sign off what's going on sippy well, uh, 
as I have mentioned throughout the show, tomorrow morning I'm I'm actually getting my new phone. So if any of these mobile games are worth trying, haha. <laughs> no. Um but I should be back uh tomorrow afternoon, if not evening, uh play some games for you over on my channel, twitch.tv slash sippy cup games. Sunday, of course, is Sippy's first drink right here on twitch.tv slash talking boxes networks. And we are going to be checking out Warshmallows Lost Worlds Beyond the Page, Cyanide and Happiness Freak Apocalypse, and to fill in that that uh not necessarily new, but definitely new to me role and kind of round out what we're going to be playing. I am going to start my playthrough, or at least the first little bit of it, of The Outer Worlds, and Ooh. unless something else catches my okay. interest. Um, Cyanide and Happiness, uh, Freak Apocalypse, that, that's getting going to get completed before I ever get started with uh, The Outer Worlds. But we'll start The Outer Worlds. All right, there we have it. I uh, hope you enjoy that. Uh, we'll be back in the future. As always, see you soon. Bye-bye. And we'll see you very soon. <laughs>